Hi guys, Alicia Walls here with the Walls Family Value Cooking Show. And today guys, on this episode, you're going to be in luck. You're in luck. You're going to be so excited because I'll be teaching you today how to make your very own candy popcorn. recipe. When I say simple, this is simple. You only need three ingredients and you need your food coloring and you also need your flavor for your popcorn. So for this recipe guys, you need one full stick of butter, one cup of sugar, a half a cup of k -Roll corn uh, syrup. Now you don't have to use k -Roll. you can use any brand that you would like, but in this video we're using the k -Roll. And we're going to use watermelon flavor. We're going to use the watermelon flavor for our candy. And we're also coloring this a very nice pink color. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this video because, guys, I'm telling you, you're going to be in, I'm telling you, you're just going to be so amazed how simple this recipe is. I've watched tons and tons of videos about making candy popcorn and this recipe is by far the best recipe to get you exactly the taste, the consistency, the hardness of the candy on the popcorn that you're ever going to see. So if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please do that now. The button is right here below. Go ahead and click the button to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and most importantly, Share this video with three other people that could really benefit from learning how to make their very own hard candy. Now, you may have made hard candy before, but this is the most simple recipe that you will ever need. You don't need any water to go with this recipe. You don't need a candy thermometer. You don't have to wait for the candy to start boiling. You don't have to do any of those things. So you're gonna be in luck once you watch this video. So stay tuned and let's get this candy started. So the first thing, let's go ahead and cut our stove on 250 degrees. Make sure that you preheat it for 250 degrees. You can use any type of popcorn that you would like, whether it's kettle corn, whether it's butter popcorn, whether it's the popcorn that you're popping in your own machine. If you're popping the popcorn in the microwave, you bought pre-bagged popcorn from the store, it doesn't matter guys, this recipe will go with any type of popcorn. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and put our butter inside of our pot. And once you turn your stove on, you want to put your stove on medium heat. We want to make sure that this butter is completely melted before we add any other ingredients inside of the pot. Now that our butter has started to melt here, we just want to make sure it's completely melted before we add our next ingredient inside of our pot. This, is, this will definitely cut the time in half for preparing the candy to go on your popcorn. I'm telling you guys, you're going to absolutely love this recipe. Okay guys, so now that your butter has completely melted, what you want to do now is you just want to add your k -roll syrup. Make sure that you are getting all of your k -Roll syrup out of your, um, your bowl or whatever that you're using. just stir it around and don't worry if you you know kind of get the popping and things like that and then you want to pour in your sugar and just make sure that you mix this as well as you possibly can and now what you want to do you want to go ahead and add your food coloring now what I use to add my food coloring I just simply use and uh, use a, um, a popsicle stick is what I use. 
And I'm also using gel food coloring. And I just mix that in. Give it a nice little pink color. And now with your pink, guys, you wanna try to incorporate um, a little bit of white to make that color completely pop, okay? And so now that it's come to a little bit of a boil, we just wanna remove it off the heat and continue to stir it up. Continue to stir that up, guys. And now we just wanna add a couple of drops of white coloring in there. Two, three. I normally do like about five or six with the pink, okay? And as you can see, that pink and that white mixed together, it's gonna give you that nice little pink color that you're really, really looking for, okay? So just keep stirring that up. And to be honest with you, you can really stand to add a little bit more of your white coloring in there. And now we wanna add our flavor inside of our candy mixture. So once you've added your flavor to your mixture, just make sure that you stir it very, very good. And I'm adding just a little bit more white into my candy mixture. I want my pink to really, really stand out, have that nice pink color to it. So just stir that up very, very good, okay? This is the type of consistency that you want with your candy mixture. I know if you've ever tried any other um, candy popcorn uh, mixtures and recipes and things like that, I know, you know it was a little bit thicker than this, but guys, I'm telling you, this is the best consistency. It will evenly spread over your popcorn. It doesn't take a lot of effort or anything. Make sure if you have not already gone through your popcorn, remove all of those kernels because I'm here to tell you it is a pain in the butt to chew down on a hard kernel when it comes to your popcorn. So you wanna make sure you remove all of those from your popcorn. Now that we've removed the kernels, let's go ahead and add our candy to our popcorn. Just guys, just pour it over all over your popcorn. You may have a little bit left so we wanna make sure that we kinda of sit that to the side just in case we need more, okay? So now, all you have to do is just blend all of your popcorn in, make sure, and as you can see, at the very bottom of the pot, that's where your candy tend to wanna to go. So we just want to incorporate all of that at the bottom of our pan, making sure that we are bringing in the popcorn from the corners of your pan. As you're doing that, just try to scoop your spoon at the bottom of your pan and not so hard on your popcorn where it crumbles your popcorn up. No one likes a lot of crumbled popcorn, just like they don't like kernels in their popcorn neither. So just make sure you guys are, you know, giving really not nice enough, really nice little strokes of your popcorn so that you, you know, get as few crumbles and things like that of your popcorn. So just continue to mix your popcorn in and I can notice here already that, you know, I would definitely need that little bit extra um, candy that's inside of the pot, but I still want to grab all of this candy that's at the bottom of the pan and try to mix it in as well as I possibly can. This is a very, very great consistency of this um, this candy mixture here, just because, you know, before it took me a very long time to try to cover my popcorn. I had to pop it in the oven just to, you know, melt some more of the candy. And this one is so much easier to work with, so much easier. So now what we're gonna do is get the rest of the candy, pour it into our popcorn, and make sure you're putting it on the parts that you know really don't have any candy on it already. It just makes it much easier for you to really get that full coverage with this one, um, one mixture of candy. It, it was really amazing to me that I was actually able to you know, um, cover all of my popcorn with just one batch of candy using the very small amount of ingredients for this recipe. So once you've done that, 
go ahead and mix your popcorn a little bit more and make sure that you are still scooping that candy that's on the bottom of your pan. And as you'll notice, I am using like a um, circular motion when I am mixing my popcorn. I'm not just digging into the popcorn with my spoon. I'm giving it that circular motion where, you know, I'm rolling it back onto the top in the middle of the pan. And that just helps to get that coverage on there as well. And as you'll also notice, I am using a silicone spoon. Silicone spoons work great when it comes to sticky substance that you're, you know, trying to blend up or mix up and things like that. And it just helps it out so much better than a wooden spoon and so much better than a metal spoon. So now what we're going to do, guys, is uh, bring over our nonstick cookie sheet. Now, this is a large size nonstick cookie sheet, but if you have a smaller one, as long as it's nonstick, guys, you can use two as long as you have two racks in your oven and all you want to do is just grab that candy roll it down so that you know when you're rolling it it still grabs more of that candy okay once you have gotten all of your popcorn inside of your nonstick pan i want to show you how much candy that was left inside of the pan which is not a lot but hey it's okay all of my popcorn are covered Now, all you have to do, guys, is get your popcorn, evenly place it in your cookie sheet. This makes the, the cooking process in the oven so much easier. You guys are definitely going to thank me for this recipe. This is a recipe that any person can use. Like I said before, no water, no candy thermometer. You don't have to worry about how long it's boiling and all of that stuff. Once it comes to a boil, you want to remove it from the heat, guys. And this is what you are left with here. Really nice popcorn. And all you're doing is just, you know, spreading it out on your cookie sheet. That's all that you're doing. It's super simple to do. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put these popcorn in the oven for 30 minutes. The first 15 minutes, guys, we're going to pull the popcorn out and I'll show you here in just a second what we're going to do when we pull our popcorn out of the oven for that first 15 minutes. Make sure you set your timer so you don't forget. So this is our first 15 minutes. The first 15 minutes are done and what you want to do is you just want to roll those popcorn so that you are flipping them over because all of that candy that's at the bottom of your cookie sheet, you don't want it to burn. Burnt popcorn, burnt candy, nothing that's burnt tastes good and we all know that. So we want to make sure that you guys are definitely covering your popcorn, you are mixing them up, you're flipping them over because just to be honest with you, a lot of these popcorn that are at the edge of this pan, they're already ready. But we want to get all of the popcorn fully covered with candy because this is the first step to where if some of your popcorn did not get a chance to get any candy on them, this is your chance to get as much coverage as you need. Because the second time that we pop these into the oven, that will be your last time for these candy popcorn. And once you get them out of the oven the second time, guys, you're gonna be amazed, okay? I'm talking about completely amazed. So as you can see here, what I am doing, I am just moving the popcorn around, and if I wanna separate some popcorn, I'm using the tip of my spoon and not just trying to, you know, physically manhandle these popcorn by moving them over with your spoon. So use the tip of your spoon, use that rolling technique to incorporate as much of that candy that's at the bottom of your nonstick cookie sheet to make sure that you get that full coverage. So once you're done doing that, just kind of, you know, spread them back out again. And once you spread them out, make sure that you kind of, once again, use that tip of the spoon technique to break up any popcorn, you know, that has probably built like a little cluster or something, you know. Um, so 
We're getting ready to add these back into the oven. You will have popcorn that pops all over the place. So that is not a problem. You can eat it. You can put it back in the other popcorn because we all know heat kills germs. And well, not all germs, but in this case, it will definitely kill germs if you know you have a popcorn or two to kind of roll over your sink. So let's go ahead and get these spread it back out inside of the cookie sheet. And you know, like I said, they are getting um, fairly done and almost ready, but we wanna pop it in the oven another 15 minutes to make sure that everything is done. Here's your last 15 minutes. All of your popcorn are fully covered. And all you have to do now is just pull them all in to the center and keep stirring them guys until you get that nice little crunch. If you keep stirring them, you will definitely get more individual popcorn versus big cluster of popcorn. And if you get some that's kind of stuck to the side, all you have to do is just use the tip, the tip of your spoon and just pry it up and move it over. That one has been a little stubborn, but there it go. And you want to do that to all of your popcorn. So what I pretty much do is just keep going through and stirring them up as much as I possibly can because the more you stir them, the more that they will come loose. Okay, so now that everything is mixed up very well, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab these little bags here that I purchased from the dollar store for $1. It comes in a pack of 30, it comes 30 in a pack. And what we're gonna do is just fill these little bags with the popcorn. And it's a perfect proportion for a younger kid or for anyone, you know, that just wanna test it out. If you, like I said, if you guys want to sell these or just give them away, this is a very great portion inside of these little bags here. And you just want to pour them in, give it a quick little push down just like that. And I don't fill them all the way up to the top because it tends to be a little bit too much in there. And once you do that, you just close it up and now you have a nice little Valentine's Day bag. That is so cute. So cute. And we'll sit these to the side and we'll go ahead and fill up the rest of these bags. Okay guys, so take a look at some of these nice little creative um, things that you can do with the different decorations and things like that for the popcorn. That's what I love about the popcorn. These are just strings that you put on a balloon here and I just tied them around and use the end of the scissors and curl them up a little bit. Here's another little bag that's a Valentine's Day bag. And you really can't see the popcorn. I like this one, but I don't like it a lot. Just like I do the other one, just because I can see this one. Well, not this one, but the other one a little bit more, the popcorn. If I were just to have, you know, one color popcorn, then I would definitely love to use this one. And here are the little cute little bags that I also purchased from the Dollar Tree. And it's like I said, it's 30 in a pack for a dollar. You guys can purchase that. You can decorate your your um your kids bags if you want to go to work and give these out to your co-workers at church or wherever you can give these out there and also this this is just so cute here such a cute little um treat box if you're having something at your house you can sit these out as a favor and let them just get it up and you know have a quick little snack before it's time to eat or whatever the case may be so that's one thing. Then I picked these up right here, and these are just little bitty containers. These are just little bitty containers here, and you just pop the top off of them, and you can fill those with popcorn. Let me show you how I do these type here. Just grab it, 
fill it up with the popcorn. Just like that. And I put the top back on it. You put the top back on it and there you have another little cute thing that you can do for Valentine's Day. How cute is that? That is just really cute. We'll sit this one to the side. The same exact thing with the larger one. Now all of these have been washed and cleaned out just to let you know. Make sure you guys do the same exact thing. And you just want to grab your popcorn and you want to fill it up. And that's all you have to do. This popcorn, three batches, will go a very, very long way. Okay, there you have it. Sit that there. Put your lid back on it, and now you have a nice little cute, cute, that is so cute. A cute little tin can that you can see through all of your hard work of your popcorn that you made, and you can give that to someone as well. Then you have this. You have this Happy Valentine little tin can, and you can open this, and open this, and put your popcorn in there. And what I like about this one is you can actually see through the top. You can see through the top of the can. So whenever you put your time and effort and hard work into creating something that's, you know, so colorful and things like that, you want to make sure that a person can see right through that. So how cute is that? That's another really cute little um, Valentine gift that you can give to someone. There's one there, and you can stand this up or whatever that you want to do, just like that. And I also have another bag. Here's another bag. This is a larger size bag here. And you can fill this bag up as well. Let's fill it up. Just like that. It doesn't have to be completely filled. And all you do is just gather it together twist it around, put you a little twisty tie on it. You put your nice little twisty tie on there, just like this, and just gather it and twist it around. And now you have another little cute bag that you can do for Valentine. Here's another little bag, just a clear, short, a shorter style bag just like this, and I'll show you guys how I feel this one. There's so many different things that you can do with popcorn that you can't do with other things. You know, it's some stuff that you just can't do, you know, a lot of things with. With this one here, you can grab this one, have a nice little cute bag, twist it around, put another little twisty tie on it, or you can get your, um, your balloon ribbon and put it on the bag. That's all you have to do. And like I said, you can sell these little treats. It doesn't take long to make this at all, guys. It really does not. Um, at the most, maybe about 10 minutes of preparing the candy, popping your popcorn, things of that nature. That's about it. Let me move some of this out of the way so I can show you how creative you can be when it comes to doing things for Valentine. And one other thing that I want to show you guys that you can do with this little box of popcorn here. You can grab one of these bags here and just drop the popcorn right in the bag. How cute is that? And you can tie it up just like this. Put your little twisty tie on it, or better yet, we can put a twisty tie on it to hold it, and then I just wanna put some of this balloon string on there just to let you guys see how cute this will actually be for a gift for someone. Can you imagine receiving something like this that you didn't have to purchase out of the store and you tell a person like, hey, you know, um, I made those. And what their reaction would really be, they're gonna be amazed. Grab that little string and cut it there. And all you have to do at this point, guys, is grab your, grab your balloon string. Make sure that it is as 
even as possible on both sides just to get that, um, you know, make sure that it's not uneven and it doesn't look crazy or nothing like that. And you just want to get this and tie it in a knot. That's all that you want to do. Get it and tie it in a two, one, one little tie and then go back around and tie it again to make sure that it's secure, but you already have your twisty tie on there as well, okay? And so once you do that, tie it just like that. Get your scissors, and you just wanna give it a, a curl. Curl it up, and we'll do this one one more time. It's one, it wants to be a little stubborn. There you go. Look at that, look how cute that is already. Let me turn it this way so I can get the right curl on it. Look at that. Look at that. Look how cute that is. Look how cute that is. That is just beautiful. It really is. That is really, really nice, guys. Something to give your coworkers, your family, whomever that you want to give these little nice little um, happies, and I call them happies because it really makes people happy. It makes their day to know that you took the time out to make something homemade for them and it turned out just like this. Here's the little ribbon. Here's the little ribbon right here that I purchased from the Dollar Tree as well. It comes in red, pink, white, and blue. And it's only a dollar, you know, so you can purchase that. It's only a dollar. So we have this little cute bag. We have this little cute bag. This one right here. This little popcorn bag. And if you want to fill it all with the bottom, just shake it down when you are putting your popcorn in. I see a lot of people that add different little um, sugars and, and pearls and things like that to the bottom of theirs. I don't do that just because I feel like, you know, uh, the popcorn can go all the way to the bottom, so why not put it down there? And you have these little cute bags here, this little tin can, this other tin can, this and that. So the options are unlimited. Guys, you can do whatever that you want to do with these popcorn. There you have it, guys. If you have any questions whatsoever about how to prepare the candy, what am I doing wrong? I tried this and it still didn't work. What did you put your stove on? What are you this? What are you that? Whatever questions that you guys may have, please drop them below inside of the comments. And I would love to get back with you guys to help you to create those memories for other people. A lot of people will be so ecstatic to receive something just like this. So if you guys know anyone else that loves to do crafts and bake and all of those type of things, share this video with those individuals so they can see how easy it is to get things just like this, do things just like this for any and everyone. And you can also sell these guys. I can't say this enough. You guys can sell these and make you a pretty good profit on this. So the sky's the limit. It's up to you. You do what you want to do with it. But other than that, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, make sure that you guys comment below. Make sure that you've already subscribed to our channel. Make sure that you like this video and share this video. Thank you guys so much. Until next time, you guys be blessed. Bye-bye.